Okay, this one's going to be titled, um, Ban on Chinese Food. All foods from China need to be banned. They are absolutely uh, unscrupulous. Uh, we've all heard about how they bonded the plastic uh, to look at the proteins for dog food. Ended up killing like 1,800 uh, dogs in the United States of America. Uh, they also fucked around, excuse my language, with uh, babies uh, powdered milk. Um, <clears throat> these guys are, are playing around with the chemistry of all this stuff. They're, they're bonding uh, molecules of plastic and all these different kinds of things to the food. So I'm basically, uh, and by the way, I'm using the LA Times on this. Uh, I do not find that the LA Times is a credible paper. Uh, at, uh, the reason being is I used to follow the Wall Street Journal for um, probably about five years. And one day, uh, you know, in the Wall Street Journal, it comes out how the housing bubbles uh, has popped. It's still not time to buy. You know, the quarter lease just came out. And lo and behold, the LA Times is telling everybody in Los Angeles to buy, buy, buy. So uh, that's what this video is going to be about. Uh, I'm going to start in just a second. But I want you guys to, uh, you know, my background, I, you know, I, had I took a lot of Chinese Kung Fu when I was a kid. And I found the Chinese to be uh, very, very honorable. And I think in society, because, you know, I was talking to my wife who, who was... Um, you know, she's uh, two different colors. But, um, you know, she puts things in perspective for me because I'm trying to report something very balanced. So I don't want to just say that the Chinese have all of a sudden lowered their morals. I think it's the whole world. Ha you know, like half of us are just starting not to care about anybody else. And we need, this is a trend that we need to stop. We need... You know, I, I see a, a glimmer of hope here if we all get together. You know, we got, we got, you know, congressmen, senators are getting busted here in the United States. If we can weed out this corruption, no matter how secretive, no matter how the orders are holding it all together, if we can bring the good people back together, we've got a chance. So I'm going to do this video, okay? And I'm going to basically, I'm going to read to you some of the stuff that the Chinese are doing to food. Um, my wife just bought me some uh, powdered garlic, McCormick powdered garlic. It's from China. It's like I, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if America's growing anything anymore. If, if, we're, if you're living in America, Canada, Europe, you need to do your local growers. Get away from the GMO food. Support your farmers. This is what it's going to take to change this world one day at a time. Start growing your own stuff. Get rid of Monsanto seeds. Let's go back to the way the world was meant to be you know, before they kill all of us. So give me one second and we'll get started. Okay, dine at your own risk in China. From steroid spiked pork to recycled oil collected from sewers, a series of food scandals that have officials worried. As well they should be. Uh, I don't even, the, the cooking oil from the sewers is just a terrifying thought in itself, but here it goes. Uh, there was a wedding, and it turns out uh, out of uh, out of five, 500 people, 286 were sent to the hospital. And this was from a very wealthy uh, villager. I'm sure he did not have any idea what they were doing to this meat. But what they were doing is they, they, they put in so much steroids. They're trying to grow these things so fast. It's like... They're obviously going just for the dollar, but anyway, 286 people went to the hospital. Some of them had to stay in the hospital for more than a week. Is this the kind of shit that we're going to be doing these days? Um, so let's get into it here. Ingredients in China. So, uh, boom, boom, boom. Since 2008, when six children died and 300,000 were sickened by a... a Melamine, melamine tainted baby formula. Okay, that's the one I was talking about. So over 300,000 kids were affected by this this tainted baby uh, food. I mean, these, you know, thank God they've, they've added the death penalty now over there for people that mess with food, but it still doesn't seem to be helping. Uh, uh, this is a really good one. In May, a Shanghai woman who left uncooked pork on her kitchen table woke up in the middle of the night and noticed that the meat was emitting a blue light. Okay, 
like something out of a science fiction movie, the uh, experts pointed to a phosphorescent bacteria blamed for another case of glow-in-the-dark pork last year. These people are playing with some very, very serious stuff. Uh, farmers in eastern uh, Shanghai uh, province complained to the state media last month that their watermelons exploded like mines after they mistakenly applied too much growth hormone in hopes of increasing their size. These people are, are playing God. This is this is this is exactly what the world is starting to do. We're playing God with everything and it's gonna blow up in our face. The only problem is I believe that certain people are using it because they, they know. Obviously these Chinese are unaware of what they're doing. They're just trying to make money. But a lot of this GMO food coming out of Monsanto's is a whole different world, man. A lot of these inoculations that they're using in third world countries or uncivilized countries are causing miscarriages. These people are using eco-science and eugenics to really take care of the population. I think it's time for us to be really careful. Um, boom, boom, boom. Let's see. Uh, it's doubtful that anybody will heed the regulation. Chinese is famous for prom uh, prom promulgating laws that are never enforced. There is no equivalent to the Food and Drug Administration over there. So, uh, <clears throat> there's one other one I wanted to show you. Where is it here? Boom, 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 baby formula. Go in the dark bacteria. Uh, also, they're, 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 they've made some kind of solution that they based, they based pork with, and the pork then smells like beef and looks like beef. So they sell Muslims over there in China, they're selling them pork and they're making them think it's beef. I mean, they're doing really, really crazy things. I would, I would tell you if you're anybody in Europe, Canada, America, uh, the food sources that are coming into all your countries right now because of the uh, uh, Codex Alimentaris, we really, really, really need to go back to our our growers and our farmers that are local and we need to support them. We need to start making our own little areas to grow our own vegetables. Uh, it's out of hand. Okay, Codex Elementaris has allowed every everything that causes cancer that America has said, we know this causes cancer, we're not going to do it anymore. We stopped using it. Okay, outlawed it. But through Codex Elementaris, these people are now allowed to do whatever they want in their country and now it's legal to sell us these vegetables using whatever they want. Uh, the E. coli from, uh, you know, the Europe that is bioengineered, okay? This is a plot. This is contrived. You know, they prey on, not the wheat, but they prey on the greedy, and the greedy prey on us. So these people that are in charge of this cabal that's running the world are using greedy people like, like the banks. So all the top banks, they're going to eat all the little banks soon. This is all contrived to take control of the world, whether we like it or we don't. So it's important, okay? Take care of your families, you guys. It's time to store up real dry goods. Be careful where they come from. Make sure they're as local as possible. Um, this is Eric signing out. This is mainstream news that uh, maybe people aren't going to think of enough about, so I just wanted to really reiterate it. Um, I love you guys, man, and I, I want to make it to the other side with all of us. I don't know about these comets. I don't know about Nibiru. Uh, you know, God. I don't. I don't. I, I can't prove any of that stuff. Okay, beyond a shadow of a doubt. Anyway, I can. I can give you the information to look at, but it's up to you to make your own decisions. But one thing I can say, with absolute proof, is that there are gentlemen trying to kill us. Uh, you know, you only need to look at my playlist to see. All of all of them, man. I mean, it's pretty clear. Uh, and they're starting with food. So uh, food, water, air, you know, these are the things you need to start really uh, thinking about how you're how they're getting into your system and how they're how they're changing things. Uh, when you eat food, if you notice your heartbeat speeding up or if you feel kind of weird after you eat something, it may be because they've used something that they shouldn't have. So be careful out there, okay? Much love. Hey, what's going on? So I'm going to go. I found a little more here. So uh, another thing they did is I, I told you about the pork, but they, they also are making fake eggs out of gelatinous compound compromised mostly of uh, sodium alginate, which is then poured into the shells and made out of a calcium carbonate. And they, they're selling fake eggs. I mean, 
here they there's a certain kind of bun that they like that's a kind of a darker color so they they used um, where am I here <coughs> boom boom anyway they, they put uh, they added ink ink to the food and they added paraffin wax to give them the product the look and texture that they desired uh, Look, I mean, it's terrifying what these guys are doing. Uh, the profit margin is bigger. The drug trafficking when you add lean pork powder to the pig food. Uh, so they're using, you know, all these steroids on the meat, which I'm, you know, I, I'm pretty sure we get, you know, food from China as far as poultry and fish. Uh, oh. He wrote about foods tainted with pesticides and industrial salts, bleaches, paints, uh, especially nauseating, initiating soy sauce made from clippings swept up from hairdressing floor. Okay, and lastly, guys, uh, <clears throat> let's see here. Last year, he Dong Ping, a professor of food scientist at Wuban Polytech University in the Hubei province, published results of an investigation into the recycling of discarded cooking oil, which was scooped out of sewers along outside restaurants, reprocessed, and then sold at a fraction of the cost of cooking oil. He found that 10 restaurants in the area bought recycled oil, even though it was known to contain a carcinogenic fungus. So. My, my thing to you guys is I would stay away from all food from China. Much love. Talk to you later.